Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Friday. That's right, I said Friday. Hey, day announcements. How is everyone today? Upcoming events. You already know that this week is Mass Bomb Fall Spirit Week. All right. Monday is the big one, the quarter one PBIS celebration for students that are on track to graduate, passing four core classes plus one additional class. In Monday's morning announcements, information will be revealed to all about how you will be receiving passes to the event. Students that passed all of their four core classes plus one additional more, you will need to be in your classes. All right, grades 10 through 12, you'll receive your passes in your CTE shop. And grade nine, you will receive your passes in your Algebra 1 course. Report card conferences are this week as well, or I'm sorry, next week as well. Monday is from 3.30 to 5.30. That is a student full day. Tuesday is a student half day, and report card conferences are from 12 to 2.34, and then again from 5 to 7. All right, and then Wednesday, hot darn, it's a half day for all. I know that makes everybody happy. And our number one priority as educators and Mass Bomb students is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. Please reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we're here to support you. For Ms. Bacon and the counselor seniors, it is that time of year where you should be fa focusing on your FAFSA application. The FAFSA application allows you to apply for financial aid assistance to help assist you in paying for your school. Even if you are not sure if college or trade school is for you, this application should still be submitted. On Tuesday, November the 29th, we will be having a guest from the Penn Talent Search Program come to Mass Bomb to work with students on completing this application. If you are interested, please see Ms. Bacon in 202 or send me an email at cbacon2 at so that you can attend this session. You must know your social security number to create an account and complete the FAFSA. And reminder about college possible, juniors and seniors join college possible. We're serving students from junior year of high school through college graduation. We're recruiting juniors and seniors to join us for biweekly after school sessions and one on one coaching toward college research, applications, financial aid, scholarships, and enrollment. We impact students who are Pell eligible and who have a GPA of 1.8 or above. All right. Today is Rep Your Jersey Day, your favorite sports team. You know, I'm going to shout out a young man that I think he kind of had his days mixed up, although it could have been 90s day technically. Um, I saw Jaden Melendez with an Atlanta Hawks Spud Webb jersey in the house yesterday okay so that kind of had dual citizenship was favorite sports team yeah we could say that but also you could say it's 90s day Jaden that was a great throwback I loved it and today is the pep rally in the 122 gym okay you will be receiving passes in your classes right before the event okay the purchase window is over no more tickets are being sold at this time it has been advertised abundantly and i got to say as to the duct taping me and mr trainer to a wall uh situation i was looking at pictures of people being duct taped to walls and i have to say I don't know that I understand the physics of it. And I want to know, uh, Ms. McPhilmy, since this is your brainchild, speaking for me and Mr. Trainer, how are we being made safe during this? I mean, is there like a special like suit that we're supposed to wear? Like I saw people doing that online. I'm just asking these questions. I'm just asking questions because I don't know. All right, students. Yes. It is true, the new yonder pouches are more effective than the old yonder pouches. 
And let me tell you something else. All right. I'll edit there. Um, this is what I'm going to tell you. We are doing a full on check of the yonder pouches every single morning to check for signs of damage, check for signs of, you know, that tap, tap, tap on the pouch, which by the way, does not work on these new ones. But if that is happening, we'll be able to see it. We'll be able to see the, the scuff marks on the pouch on that plastic ball. And we would be able to see slight bending of the pin, okay? And if you are having your card pulled because you damaged your pouch, it is $25, okay? $25. I know that's not going to make your parents happy to have to pay that. I, I definitely know it won't make them happy. All right, reminder from Mr. Thomas about the Rep Your Shop rap contest. The deadline is December the 15th. The talent show, looking for more participants. Ms. Linscomb, reach out to her for any questions. Sign-ups are in the main lobby and outside the main office. I've seen some people sign up. I saw Mr. King signed up with whatever band he can put together. Would anybody like to join Mr. King's band? Staff and students. Mr. Thomas knows how to play piano. I know that from the raps that he does. Just putting that out there, Mr. King. Reminder about the four for four Chromebook repairs, Man Spom social media. And then we have Miss Walker coming off the top rope with a triple shot of staff and student shout outs today. Miss Walker would like to shout out Miss Friel, teaching fences last school year and passing this school year, have helped your kids make connections to the content I am teaching in my African American history classes. It is awesome. You're awesome. Plus, walkie-talkie, because you talkie when you walkie, and we call them sprinkles because they're sprinkly, will be making me laugh into December. I guess that's an inside joke, but good job, Miss Walker and Miss Friel. Miss Walker continues. Miss Walker would also like to shout out her African-American history classes for being engaged during Roots, Episode 1. Keep asking questions, keep forming opinions, and keep up the good work and don't forget to finish your crq quiz for episode one the slide with the prompt is in google classroom and miss walker finally would like to shout out brandon rash yes i meant to write this last week but brandon is a young man with a plan for his future he's had this plan since he was about 10 and he is on the right track i am making seeing the future and brandon's is is looking mighty bright I know for a fact that he will achieve his goals. And heck, maybe one day you'll have a teacher for a sister-in-law. Shout out to Brandon. All right. National Days. Today is National Substitute Educators Day. Shout out to our substitute educators that have done such an amazing job filling in at Mass Bomb High School. Mr. Cito, Mr. Dimitri, um, Mr. Um, blanking on the last name. I'm very sorry about that. Um, happy National Substitute Educators Day. And happy National Princess Day. All right. Happy National Princess Day. Okay. I'm still trying to to remember the name of the substitute teacher that I am forgetting. And I know I'm like holding everybody up right now or in the morning announcements. Hold on. If you give me just one second, I know I can figure this name out. I am so sorry, but I feel really bad about this. Looking through my system, looking through my system, continuing. I'm way too far into the morning announcements now to turn around. Yes, however, could I forget Mr. Shelley. Mr. Shelley, great job. Thank you very much, Mr. Shelley. Okay. That took a while, didn't it? You never know with the morning announcements. Okay. Once I get past the eight minute mark, I'm just not turn I'm not turning the ship around. Mr. Shelley, this one's for you. We're mass bomb, but we build the future. Have a great Friday.